Come back to extended play here at Big Bang 2 in Santa Clara, California. I'm currently sitting next to Zach, who's playing some Counter-Strike, and how are you doing at it? All right. Now, what do you like about playing Counter-Strike at a LAN party as opposed to playing at home on the internet? Uh, I like the larger team numbers, and uh, the lower pings gives everybody an equal chance. Now, have you ever played Fallout? Uh, yeah, actually, I've played uh, both 1 and 2. Yes, Fallout is a role-play game that has a sci-fi twist to it. Now, there's a new game, Fallout Tactics, that isn't a sequel, but is a twist on a very, very popular title. Fallout Tactics takes place in between the events of Fallout 1 and 2. In the single player, you control members of the Brotherhood of Steel, a rather dubious group that offers some difficult missions in the original Fallout. Fallout Tactics incorporates elements of the role-playing games with statistics that can be improved through acquiring experience points as you play through the missions. The gameplay, though, is all about tactical combat. The action is designed to be played in the continuous turn-based form, which feels like real-time but is regulated by action points. For those looking for more old-school XCOM-style action, there is a turn-based option. The missions themselves will offer rescues, escorts, and wholesale elimination. What is evident is that the maps themselves are very large, and the 32-bit detail goes far to foster the despair that has typified the Fallout franchise. Fallout Tactics will be a welcome title for the strategy-minded and those that just want to return to the wastelands. If you're waiting for Fallout 3 to come out, according to Interplay, it's probably not going to happen anytime soon. Tokyo Extreme Racer has had two very successful versions for the Dreamcast. Soon, though, there's going to be a version for the PlayStation 2. So, bust out those drag racing flags and get ready for Tokyo Extreme Racer Zero. Tokyo Extreme Racer and its sequel were very popular titles for the Dreamcast. Now Crave is about to release a new version for the PlayStation 2, Tokyo Extreme Racer Zero. What makes the game stand out among racers is its unique competition style. Rather than racing on your standard track, the game takes place on the busy streets of Tokyo at night. It's not only the venue that's unique. A race doesn't start with your standard checkered flag. Instead, you challenge other cars to a drag race while you're careening down the Tokyo streets. If you fall behind, you lose energy, and the first to lose it all, loses it all. Tokyo Extreme Racer Zero offers a huge garage load of cars to choose from. While you work on your rep as a tough racer, you earn money to upgrade your vehicle. Look for Extreme Racer Zero's glossy high-res graphics and street-style drag racing to screech onto store shelves in March. Tokyo Extreme Racer Zero was the game's title in Japan. Here it will be known as Tokyo Extreme Racer 2. Shiny Sacrifice is a wonderful game to look at and to play, though it can prove to be quite difficult at times. So here are a few cheats to keep you from reaching the end of your sacrificial rope. Shiny Sacrifice takes some big mojo to play, so we've got some cheats that work like magic. To cast the spell of cheating, type Control, Shift, and Tilde at the same time. When the eerie green text glows, type the ampersand, or at sign, a space, and the following incantations. For an invincible wizard, your bullets cannot harm me, or my wings are like a shield of steel. Physician, heal thyself by typing... By the power of Grayskull! Strive against the hand of wickedness. To max out your mana, proclaim... I have the power! Too late again, Master. All dead. And give yourself all the time in the world for spells with the magic words, time is on my side. Coming up on Extended Play, you can play ping pong on your TV. And we have help for the massively multiplayer title, Fantasy Star Online. <laughs>